Hello YouTube, Jeremy Patrick Martin here, and I'm going to show you how to sideload Chrome browser into your Amazon Fire tablet. Sideloading is when you try to in download and install an application that does not come from the official Android App Store. So in order to do that, we have to tweak your tablet security. To tweak your tablet security, we're going to go into Settings. And then we're going to go down, scroll down to security and privacy. And uh, we're going to scroll down to privacy and where it says apps from unknown sources. And if you don't ha already have this turned on, turn it on and you will get prompted with a very important warning. And they aren't kidding in there. You are taking a risk doing this stuff. And if you don't know what you're doing, you can download all kinds of bad stuff that might even wind up screwing your tablet up. But we're going to go ahead and hit OK. And then we're going to close this out. And we're going to open up our browser. In this situation, it's going to be Silk. And we're going to go to Silk Home. Come on. All right, and we're going to put in apkmirror.com, apkmirror.com. This is the probably the most um, popular site for siloing, downloading, and sideloading uh, Android apps. Um, there's no sense. In, I mean, if you want to scroll, you go right ahead and scroll. There's a lot of advertisements on here, big, some small. Some of them are disguised to look like legitimate download links, which I don't like. I feel is unethical. But we're not talking about ethics. We're talking about sideloading apps. So look at the orange bar that says APK Mirror on it. Go to the right of it, and you're going to see where that um, search icon is, the little magnifying glass. We're going to type in the word that's probably one of the most popular search words on this site. Chrome is a very popular browser. And we're going to pull up another site, a page that is just as heavy as the last one we were at. And we're going to scroll on down. And you can pick whatever you want here. Uh, these are all the little, le mostly legitimate choices. I can't say anything for all of them, but all, most of the ones I'm looking at look legit. Now, if you want Chrome Dev, get that. If you want Chrome Canary, you're probably not even watching this video. You already got it on there. You, get, you got your stuff down. All right. Google Chrome Fast and Secure 80.0.3987 by Google LLC. And you got two variants, so we're going to go all the way to the right where it looks like that, that, that download symbol. It's not. You're not going to download it. It takes you to yet another page so they can download more advertisements. Google Chrome Fast and Secure 80 by Google LLC. Let's scroll on down. We're getting closer and closer to it. Now, if you want, you can hit the See Available Apps, but it's just going to open up another page with more advertisements on it. I'm just going to keep on scrolling down to this card right here that says Download. And there's our two variants. You are going to want the ARMEABI-V7A architecture. So we're going to pick the one on the top. And we're going to download yet another page. See, I just helped. I saved you from doing an extra page here. We're going to double check again. Google Chrome Fast and Secure 80 ARM V7A Android 4.4 by Google LLC. That's kosher. Now we have a very information full card here. Communication 19 million downloads at four and a half stars out of five. V7A package com.android 4000 well close to 4000 downloads 46 megabytes minimum android kit track kit cat maximum android marshmallow don't worry it will work on your tablet now we're going to hit the bottom right hand corner where it says download APK but you are more than welcome to also check where it says verified safe to install 
I've already read it, so I'm going to go ahead and download it. And you will get prompted telling you that you are taking a risk downloading this. Go ahead and say, I am fearless, and I will take the risk. And we want, I, I don't know about you, but I like to see the details while I'm downloading. Because the file manager on Amazon tablets leave a lot to be desired for. And my slow speed internet is kind of patchy here lately. Right now it seems to be doing a substandard. But it will come. Okay, now that it's downloaded, we'll just go ahead and click on the name, and it will take you to a prompt, or it'll ask you whether you want to install it or not, and we are going to do it in the bottom right hand corner, install, and fire shall do our bidding. Come on, fire, kick it in with that hardly any bit of RAM that you have in you. Yeah, these Fire tablets don't have very much RAM in it. So, I mean, you got to have a lot of patience with these tablets. And, and we're probably the worst thing to do with these Fire tablets is while it's working or while it's thinking, you sit there and be tapping on it in anger. And, you know, it's already, you're, you're giving it commands. So, <laughs> bottom right-hand corner, let's go. If, you're, if you want to say done and go on and, and download something else, that's fine. We're going to go ahead and open it. And Google Chrome is doing its thing. And uh, you go ahead and click whatever you want on that uh, check mark. But we're going to hit accept and continue. Now, right off of the bat, all the hardcore Chrome fans are going to want to go up to the three dots in the top right-hand corner and hit your settings. And hit sync and Google services. And then they're going to click on it and click on it and click on it. And they're going to be like, what? I, why is it not working? Well, there's nothing wrong with your tablet. It's just Amazon does not want you to sync with Chrome in this situation. All right? It's just, I, I don't want to get into the details. You, you can't do it. You can't sync your Google account into Chrome. All right? So do not despair, my brothers and sisters. You can sign in to everything else on this other than sync with your browser. So you just go to your Google account or you go to the YouTube or whatnot and what have you and you go right ahead and sign in individually across the board. And yes, I have verified it, it will work. You can sign in. But if you have a security key, if you have a Yubi key, a Nitro key, something like that, Amazon Fire tablets do not like physical security keys. So if you have your Google account set up for like advanced protection where you can only use physical security keys, you will not be able to sign in with your account on these. Otherwise, if you've got backup codes or text or prompts or whatever, you're going to get in and you're going to be able to sign in to all of your individual um, services for Google. Okay, now let's, uh, let's go backwards here. Now that you, you say that you don't want this app or other apps, because this, this is pretty much universal on how to get rid of an app. You go ahead, close it out. Oops, that ain't closing it out. That's opening it out. All right, go ahead and close it out. Go to the to the home screen for the apps, and you're going to find the app that you want to get rid of, the offensive app. Long press on it and let it go, and it will up in the right top corner. You'll see a trash can with uninstall. Uninstall that sucker. You'll get prompted to make sure. Do you want to do it? Yes. Okay. And fire shall do our bidding one more time. And then you're going to scroll down. Make sure it is gone. All right. Just because you can't see it in your app tray anymore does not mean that it is no longer on your tablet. So we're going to go to the docs just above the settings here. We're going to hit docs. And then if it doesn't take you straight to it, what you're going to want to do is make sure that you are in where it says documents at the top left hand corner. This the main index for this. And you're going to go to download. 
And then see where it says com.android.chrome, and then it's got all this information that we've gone over. We're going to hit the three dots on the right-hand corner and hit delete. It will prompt you to make sure you want to do it. Yes, delete. And there you go, my brothers and sisters. We have sideloaded and uninstalled an Android app, bypassed the official Amazon App Store. My brothers and sisters, enjoy your Amazon tablet and Amazon on.